Hello mga kawanderham, gagawin ko lang ng video itong module ng pamangkin ko, chuchuturan ko lang siya at i-upload ko itong video para niya mapanood at mapag-aralan. So ito ay tungkol sa pag -re write ng radical expression in rational exponent form. So kapag meron kang radical expression, limbawa x to the fifth, Uh, tapos ganyan, 9th root of x to the 5th. Uh, para mo siya gawing rational exponent form, itong exponent, yan yung numerator ng fraction. etong nasa labas, yung root, ayan yung denominator. So, magiging ganito siya. x, ito yung numerator, 5 over 9. So, nasa denominator yung root. So, ganun din pag pabaliktad. Halimbawa, y raised to the 2 over 3. So, paano mo siya gagawing radical expression? So, ito yung exponent, yung numerator, ito yung root. So, y, ito yung exponent niya, squared. Tapos, itong denominator, yung root. Paano naman kapag m uh, raised to the 4 m raised to the negative 4 over 7. So, negative yung exponent. So, kung maaalala natin sa rules of exponent, kung halimbawa, x raised to the negative 2, magiging 1 over x raised to the 2. So, mapupunta sa denominator, tapos magiging positive yung exponent. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito. Gagawin muna natin positive, magiging 4 over 7. So, gagawin natin nasa denominator yung m. So, 1 over m raised to the 4 over 7. Naging positive na. Tsaka natin ngayon siya gagawing radical expression. So, yung numerator yung exponent, yung 7 yung sa root. So, 1 over, pagyan natin na ganito, m to the 4 yung exponent, yung numerator, yung denominator, yung root. Ito yung 7. 7th root of m to the 4. So, ito pang isa pang example sa kanilang module. Uh, a to root of a to the fourth, b to the sixth. Irerewrite natin in rational exponent form. So, dalawa yung variable sa loob, may magkaibang exponent, ganun din. Ito yung mga numerator, ito magiging denominator nila lahat. So, susulat mo lang a, sulat mo yung exponent 4 over itong root 8 b raised to the 6 over yung root 10. Tapos pag nakita mo, pwede mo pang i-lowest term yung fraction. I-lowest term mo. So, 4 over 8, pag ni-lowest term mo yan ay 1 half. Kasi divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4, 1. 8 divided by 4, 2. Itong b, 6, to, uh, 6 over 8, uh, pwede mo rin i-lowest term. I-divide mo sa 2 pareho. So, magiging b raised to the 3 over 4. So, ito ang ating final answer. So, basta gagawin mo lang laging denominator yung root. So, ito pang isa pang example sa kanilang module. Paano daw i-evaluate ang 27 raised to the 4 over 3? So, gagawin mo muna siyang radical expression. Ito yung exponent, ito yung root. So, 27 for your exponent 3 yung root cube root so pwede mo rin daw siyang gawing uh, cube root of 27 bago mo siya i, i raise to the fourth pwede rin daw yan so same lang siya so ang cube root ng 27 ay 3 so bago mo siya i raise to the fourth so 3 raise to the fourth is equal to 81 So, ganyan mo daw siya isosolve. Next, paano naman daw yung negative 81 raised to the 1 half? So, susulat muna natin siya sa radical expression. 1 yung, uh, yung exponent, 2 yung root. So, negative 81. 1 yung exponent, 2 yung root or square root. So, 81 raised to the first. 81 lang din naman yun. So, square root of 81 lang yan. Negative square root of 81 is equal to negative. 
square root of 81 ay 9. So, negative 9 ang sagot. So, paano naman? 32 raised to the negative 2 over 5. So, gaya kanina, kapag negative ang exponent, para maging positive, ilalagay mo sa denominator. 1 over 32 raised to the 2 over 5. So, napunta sa denominator yung 32, tapos naging positive yung 2 over 5. So, gawin mo na siyang radical expression. Ito yung exponent, itong 5 yung root. So, 1 over pa rin. 32, 2 yung exponent, 5 yung root. So, uh, gaya nung ginawa kanina, pwedeng i-root mo muna. Kunin mo muna yung 5th root bago mo siya squared. So, pwede rin ganyan. Kasi ang 5th root ng 32 ay 2. Bago mo siya i-squared. So, 5th root of 32, 2. Bago mo siya i-squared. 2 squared is equal to 4. So, 1 over 4. Ang sagot.